these guys just keep trying to come up with shit. Look, now I'm using a big loader. Now he wants to use a big loader. Oh my god, that's funny. Don't copy me too much, dude. It's fucking awesome. I'm gonna play with your ass. <laughs> Is my loader. Oh, I know where there's something to do. Oh, it's getting cold. That's why I was it's getting cold. Can't stand it. He said, Toxic, turn him off. Turn him off. He's vile. What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? I renamed the map Antarctica because that makes more sense. Nothing. Just got home, man. They call the map Art. Arctic, so I figure I'd name it Antarctica, right? That fits. Well, I tried all the little dump trucks. It's not going to work. So we got a scrounge for $2 million. That's what I'm in the process of doing right now. We need a big dump truck. And I'm tired of selling shit to get equipment that we need. So the grind is on. And no, I'm not getting a damn loan. And I did, I did figure out with the plant. I am right. If you overload the fucking thing with with uh stone, you are going to get a lot of the solid rock. You gotta put you gotta put a load in. You gotta put a load of rock, a load of something else, a load of rock, a load of something else. You can't fucking overload it with rock. You overload it with rock. I ended up with more rock than I did fucking gravel. I wasn't happy. So you gotta split it up. You can't overload this fucking plant with rock. You just can't do it. 
So I'm done playing with it. Fuck it. It works. It's efficient. That's all I care about. Yeah, I'm doing the grind, dude. I'm grinding the two million tonight. I'm getting that fucking dump truck, dude. We getting the fucking big boy. Cause I can't go over there and go mine for the iron without it. I am not driving this fucking loader from all the way on the other side of that mountain to over here. And I'm not running a conveyor. It would cost me a million dollars to run a fucking conveyor over there. Each piece of conveyor is $14,000 a fucking piece for a straight. You know how much that would cost to go all the way across that fucking mountain? Nope. So we're doing the grind, baby. <clears throat> I'm going to run a conveyor to the end of the road, and that's it. Straight up the end of this road to where my other bridge is. That's it. Just like I did down this end. Outside of that, you got a truck to it. Now, I'm not running a million dollars worth of fucking conveyor. Fuck that shit. It would be over a million dollars probably. It would probably be at least a hundred a hundred pieces of conveyor, if not more. That's a hundred and forty thousand dollars right there. Because they're fourteen grand a piece. Fuck that. So the grind is on, buddy. And I tried using a little dump truck, forget it. You end up spilling more over the fucking sides than you do getting in it. And then here's the other thing. The little dump truck only holds fucking 28, 20, I guess it's meters. 28, 20 meters the little dump truck holds. The biggest little dump truck holds 20. And the fucking loader holds 28. So what am I going to do? Dump a half a load with the fucking loader into the dump truck and then it comes back and then dump the other half? Fuck that shit. What's up, William? Nope. So the $2 million dump truck grind is officially on. It's <clears throat> going to be a lot of loads and a lot of digging at night, boys. Because I can't dig for the ore without it. I just fucking can't. There's no way around it. We're not running $2 million worth the fucking conveyor. That's what I'm saying. Fuck it, too. And I need iron. And iron's on fucking all the way over there on the other way, end of the map. And I'm not running this fucking loader into the ground. No, I'm not doing it. Not bouncing across the fucking ice with this loader. I've already whooped her ass enough. She's been beat on enough. Not making it worse. Been whooping this fucking poor thing's ass. I'm lucky it's even still running. Yeah, I gotta imagine they're gonna be adding that soon. Fucking everything breaking down on you. That'll be coming soon enough, I guarantee it. Especially being out here in Antarctica. You know shit always shit always breaks when it's cold, never when it's hot. Nothing breaks when it's hot. Ain't that funny? When's the only time you have problems with your vehicles? Dead of fucking winter when it's 12 fucking degrees out. And if you ain't got a garage, you're fucked. Not unless you want to pay. Yeah, so the way you got to do the stone, dude, no matter how you set it up, you got to do a load of stone. A load of something, a load of stone, a load of something, a load of stone. That's what you got to do. If you overload it with stone, you ain't going to end up with nothing but fucking solid rock and shit for gravel. And I don't know what's going on with this fucking laptop with that little bit of stuff. I don't, I think it's the game because I changed, I've already changed the graphic settings four different times. I changed it all the way down to low, it didn't go away. I changed it all the way to high, it didn't go away. Put it on fucking medium, it didn't go away. So, it must be, it's got to be just the ground effects with the fucking game, that's all. 
Fuck it. I'm not going to worry about it. Looks good on my 50 inch. Hopefully it looks good on the stream. I mean, I could see on the computer, you know, that what the stream looks like on my other computer. Look at this shit. Don't make me blast the fucking coal, right? So I lose half of it. All right, that's cool. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. As long as you guys can see what the fuck I'm doing, that's all that matters. And hopefully it looks clear. Mine and we will go, mine and we will go, mine and we will go, mine and we will go. Fire in the hole, five, four, three, two, one, baboomski. That's it, and that's how you dig. It's all you need, Kansas. Stick a dynamite and let it rip. All right, thank you. Wait for this shit to fill in, then we'll just scoop it up. Uh, I miss getting done early, man. They fucked us. They put a time clock in. We're fucked now. I got to sit there till fucking 10 o'clock every fucking night now. Fucking bastards. I'm going to tell my boss I'm going to be sorry. I don't care if he puts me in charge of a fucking broom closet. Make me the fucking broom closet fucking manager. As long as I ain't got a clock in the clock out, I'll be okay with it. I don't care what he calls me. He ain't even got to give me extra money if he don't want to. The broom closet manager. I like it. It's got a nice, nice ring to it. As long as I ain't got to sit there for a fucking half hour waiting to clock out, I'm okay with it. Fucking joke. You know, it's funny. They're, they're making us clock in and out, but the fucking two assholes that are salary, that are fucking supposed to be there every day and show up 10 to 15 minutes late every fucking day, they're not clocking in and out. That That's a fucking joke. The two people that are fucking late every day, which is probably half of the fucking reason why we have a time clock now. They're not clocking in and out every fucking day. Fucking stupid. So punish the motherfuckers that are there on time and reward the fucking assholes that are never there on time. Yeah, that's about business in America. Yeah, I want to be. I want to be a broom broom clock. I want to be a broom manager. That's all. What I said earlier, broom closet manager. That's all. As long as I don't have to clock the fuck in and out, I'll be all right. I don't care. They can do what they want. I got 12 more years and they could suck my fucking asshole and I'm done. I'm retiring. I don't care if I can afford it or if I can't afford it. I don't care if I got to live in a cardboard box on the fucking street. 
12 more years, I'm fucking done if I live that long. I've been working full time since I was fucking 16. I've had it, dude. I'm tired of going to work. Tired of making other people rich. I know I'm never going to be a fucking millionaire. So I I'm done. I've done checked. I checked out about fucking three years ago. I'm done. It's just a job now. That's it. I go in, I do what they ask me to do, and I go to fuck home. That's all. Yep. Who knows? Maybe if I get famous and all this shit takes off, I can start getting these Instagram and fucking YouTube and I doubt I'll make that, I doubt I'll ever make that kind of money. I'm not 20 years old and got a gorgeous body. But if I can make enough that doubles my retirement, I'll be okay. If I can make enough every month doing this shit that equals exactly what my social security if it's a, if it's if there is going to be social security if these assholes don't run through it first uh if i could double what that is every month i'll be happy that's it i'll be done i'll quit fucking working it's fine with me I'll sit here and stay fat and happy i'm not really fat but it's a figure of speech. That's why I, that's why I take this shit to work with me, man. I figure fuck it. You know what? They're gonna make me stay till ten? That's fine. You ain't cutting into my fucking game time, bro. I'm gonna play one way or another. I don't give a fuck. You ain't cutting into my meat time. I come first, not you. How you think I got three hundred thousand when I went to bed last night and have three hundred thousand? I got three hundred thousand today. <coughs> I don't want to be famous. I told you what I want. I just want to make some fucking money. What's up, Coles? What's going on, partner in crime? How are you, buddy? I changed the oil in the machines. The grater's over there waiting on you, dude. Put a uh, brand new oil filter in her. She's full of diesel fuel. We had the GPS checked on it. That's all calibrated. We're waiting on you to come in so you can grade me a road over there. We got to go. We got to go strip mine for fucking iron. I'm about out of iron out of the mountain. I'm doing I'm doing a grind right now for the two million dollar dump truck because we need it because I'm not running a million and a half dollars worth of fucking conveyors. So we go get the big boy truck. Oh, and I bought you guys lunch. There's pizza in the fridge, cold beer for when we're done, when we're done, and there's cold sodas and water in the fridge too. So help yourself to everything but the beer for now. The beer's for when we're done. See, ain't I a good boss? I feed you, take care of you, pay you well, take care of your fucking equipment for you. See, <clears throat> I think I'd make a pretty good boss. And I ain't I ain't afraid to work side by side with you. Get in the ditch and dig a ditch with you. It's one lesson I got learned a long time ago, people. You don't never ask somebody to do something you wouldn't do your fucking self. That's something to live by. 
ever ask somebody to do something that you wouldn't do yourself. Remember that. <clears throat> That's life lesson number 103 for this week. It will be on your quiz. Number two pencils only, people. And the quiz is Friday. And if you're not here for the quiz, you get an automatic F. That's how that goes. Yep. That's what you got to do, bro. And you're absolutely right. Lead by example. That's just like I was busting. Now I know why my fucking boss didn't say nothing the other day. I said, yo, what the fuck's going on around here? Nobody in, nobody in the Teflon department knows how to sweep or fucking clean up. And you know what? He didn't say a fucking word. I got to talking to my other buddy that works there during the day, that works with him during the day. And we got the conversation because I said to him, I'm like, yo, what the fuck, man? I clean up at night. I come in the next day. It looks like a fucking bomb went the fuck off in here. He goes, yo, it ain't me. He goes, who do you think was running that machine over there all day, the one you're getting ready to run? I said, no. He's like, oh, yeah, dude. It's bad. <laughs> so here it is. I'm saying that shit to my boss, and he's the one that's just over there making a fucking mess, not cleaning the shit up. <laughs> yeah, because I said something to my buddy who works day work. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I said, what's with leaving the shit everywhere, man? I'm like, I clean this up every night for you fucking guys. He looked at me, he goes, yo, it ain't me, dude. I'm like, what? He goes, come on, you know who runs that machine over there during the day? You know I run these two. And anytime he's got something to run, he runs that one or he runs A and B. I said, yeah. He goes, well, with the exception of the last two weeks, I haven't started that machine up. He has. He's been over there. <laughs> Now I know who the fucking culprit is. <laughs> That's why that day when I was going off about the place being a fucking pigsty, he didn't say nothing. Now I get it. Always got to watch the silence. Yeah, and that's the other thing. We can't go touch that iron reserve. I ain't touching the iron. That road's fucking closed. We ain't touching the iron until we can get to that other iron, that other iron pile. So we got some strip mining to do, but I ain't doing no damn strip mining without a dump truck. And I'm not buying them little fucking kitty carts either. Where's Mike at? I told him about leaving this fucking dozer just sitting here. You guys get done with this shit, take it back to the fucking garage. I'm going to start docking pay. That's what I'm going to do. You guys don't want to listen, I'm going to dock pay. That's it. It's broke down, and I see leaving it here, but it ain't broke down. I did better not be broke down. Fucking guys. All I do is ask them to put the equipment away, and I got to do it my damn self. That's all right. It's okay. Wait till next time he gets in it. I'll make sure that I run the fuel out of it when I park it. Then he'll have to stand there for 45 fucking minutes of fucking fuel it. That makes up for my time having to move it. We got to build, we're going to be building a maintenance shop too. So for right now, park it in front of the other shop here.
Yeah, I know. William was the last one to run it. I just called Mike. He said it wasn't him. He said William changed the hose on it that was fucked up. Took it out for a test run, and that's who left it up here. I, I know who did it, Kansas. I know. He's another one that don't listen. I'm not surprised. So I hope you boys had a good day today. No, I did. I didn't have to work down in my department. I was upstairs in Teflon, one of my favorite machines that I miss. No fucking teardowns. So at least I've had a good week and a half. All last week I was upstairs with my boss at night. He stayed over and stayed overnight. And then this week, me and my buddy who I normally work with every night, just me and him upstairs in fucking Teflon on the machines. Nice, nice and quiet. It's nice to just having the two over there at night time. It's fucking awesome. You ain't got to worry about shit. I don't mind my boss. He's funny. I don't mind working with him, but he could be a pain in the fucking ass. Not all the time, though. Sometimes. Uh, shit. I'm going to be making me a cup of coffee soon. It's going to be a long night of grinding. Got to get that gold, Kansas. That's it. You need a pick and pay dirt. That's how I made my, that's how I bought this million and a half dollar loader. Pick and pay dirt and dirt. That's, that's all you need with this game. It's just like Gold Rush. No different than Gold Rush. And I was waiting for them guys to come out here to put them fucking roof pieces on so this don't collapse on me. And I'm tired of waiting on them. I need the material. So I took the fucking signs down and shit on them. Two weeks ago, they told me they were going to come out here and start welding them, them grates up in the ceiling so I could dig this tunnel straight into the mountain. They still ain't came yet. I don't know what in this shit they doing. So that's all right. I'm digging it. I don't care. Caves in, oh well. Caves in on me, I just have to dig my way out. That's all. Piss on them. I'm tired of waiting on them to show up. I called, left three or four messages. They still ain't been out here. You know, William, it's funny that you say that. Gold mining simulator. So let me get this straight. So what that means is, is they're going to be simulating mining gold, correct? What is one of the main ingredients in mining gold that you need? Can you tell me? Anybody got the answer to that trivia question? I need to get some uh, Fireside Killer fucking sweatshirts made up. I'm going to start giving out prizes for people that know the right answers. Tell me your, send me a, send me an email with your fucking address and I'll mail you the t-shirt. What is one of the main fucking ingredients to gold mine? Can somebody tell me? You have to have it. No matter what, you have to fucking have it. Can somebody tell me what that is?
Anybody got an answer? There is one main ingredient that you have to have to mine gold. Does anybody know what that answer is? Can't you can't can't do it without you just can't. You can't do it without it. It wouldn't work. I'll give you guys a couple minutes because I know the stream's on delay. I want to know if anybody knows the answer to that. No. <laughs> when you go mining for gold, what is the main ingredient you need to mine fucking gold? I'm not going to give you the answer. Fucking think about it. And I don't need it here to do what I'm doing. Not at all. Does anybody know the answer to that? Come on, man. It's been the main ingredient since they started doing it with a fucking pan. So what, William? You're going to sit here and tell me you don't know what the main ingredient is? When them guys were panning for gold back in the 1800s, what were they panning with? Thank you. Fucking water. Can't mine gold without water. Somebody needs to tell Farming Simulator you can't grow crops without water. It's not real. You're not simulating nothing. It's not real. Too much fertilizer, you'll kill whatever you're trying to grow. Look it up, you think I'm wrong. And I'm sorry, it raining in game doesn't count. It's not even close to fucking real. Go ask the people out west that do it for a living. Ask them how much it rains out there. They'll fucking laugh at you. At one point, they went fucking 10, 20 years with no fucking rain in the late 1800s. A lot of people starved to death because they were in a fucking drought. So no, in-game raining doesn't count as water. <coughs> Oh, and here's the other thing, too, I thought about, too. You know them new gadgets that they got now? And they actually signed up with the company, the Isaac Pro, to do the ground testing of the soil? Why didn't they include the water table and water content in that? It is in a real-life one. Why are they so scared of fucking water? You got maps that simulate the fucking waterfalls. You got creek streams and rivers. You can back your truck in to go fill it up with water. Food for thought.
see? Yeah, because I put in too much rock, Kansas. Look, I'm getting more solid rock than I am gravel. I don't know what to tell you, man. Until they fix it, I don't know what to tell you. Fuck it. I'm selling it. I'm not going to waste my time standing over the pit throwing in 1,500 fucking pieces of fucking rock. I ain't doing it. Sorry. I ain't wasting my time doing that no more. Nope. Not doing it. They fix it, then I'll deal with it. And it's a shame, because that 1,500 solid rock's probably 3,000 fucking gravel. But I, but I got no way to by hand put it back into the system. I haven't figured that out yet. Now I can put it back in in one lump fucking like I'm moving it now. There's no way for me to fucking put it back in by hand in one lump sum like that. Because you can't get the containers you can't get it to suck out of the fucking containers. The only way I know is in the fucking hopper. Yeah, the containers only go one way. It's just going in. That's it. There is no going out. And there's nowhere to connect going out. So I don't like that. But that's what they did. I don't think you can connect going out. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I doubt it. Yeah, there's, it's just going in. That's it. So I got no way to put it back through the system unless I do it by hand. And I'm not standing there throwing in 1,500 fucking pieces. Not doing it, brother. If I gotta do this like this, that was so bright. Oh, and and we gotta. You just don't want to sell the dirt, dude. I was doing that earlier. I was over there digging, trying to find, you know, get trying to strip mine to the fucking iron. There's all kinds of shit in the dirt, too. There's a, aluminum ore, lithium ore in the dirt. Because I was getting it. So, you don't want to just sell the fucking dirt. I mean, dig it up and put it in the cell bin. You know how they have the cell bin? You don't want to do that. You want to run it through this fucking plant. So, it pulls out all this shit, like... You know what I mean? You just dump silicones in there and shit like that in the dirt. So the dirt's got some stuff in it. Come on, go in the fucking stack. <coughs> well, that's three, three runs of material I just emptied out. It's the third time. All right. Go get this shit running. Now I got nowhere for nothing. Fuck. Yeah, I just been selling a solid rock. I'm not going to go through it no more. It's a waste of my fucking time. There's plenty of rock. If it ain't getting busted up, I don't know what to tell you. I've already done everything I could to do it, so. I'm done fucking with it. Wasting my time with it. 
if it breaks down, it breaks down. If it don't break down, then I'm sorry. I can't do nothing about it, bro. That's the way that shit goes. That's it. So we're just going to sit back with our pick and shovel and keep getting our gold. And that's what we're going to do. Don't worry about all these other things. They're, they don't amount to nothing. Just keep going after your pay dirt. That's all you got to remember. Just go get your pay dirt and you'll be all right. That's it. That's the name of the game. They should have named it pay dirt. Should have just named it pay dirt. Yeah. It's about the size of Ah, uh, yeah, I need that for barrels. Let's go see this other shit. Yes. Still ain't got no platinum yet. I don't know where the fuck that is. That's the only material I have not seen yet. I've seen everything else but platinum. Platinum, I have no idea where the fuck it is. I haven't seen it yet. Sorry for my French YouTube. Yeah, I have not seen platinum yet. There it is. There's what you want, people. Go make your gold bars. You'll be all right. That's it. That's the key to success. <laughs> Go on your 200,000 tons of fucking pay dirt. That's, that's what you got to do. It's the only way you're going to get ahead in this game. Go run your two million tons of pay dirt, and you'll be okay. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. I am just a fucking asshole. <laughs> Funny asshole, but I'm an asshole. <laughs> yeah, just go run your fucking pay dirt. Okay. You'll be fine, kids. All you need is, like Kansas said, all you need is a pickaxe and dirt, and you're good. That's it. You don't need all these equipment. All you need is just this melter. That's all you need. Just need the smelter. You'll be all right. That's it. I'm just doing all this because I'm just enjoying myself. There's no reason for it. <laughs> Mama, let your baby grow to be careful. Drinking and cussing and they love me.
All right, let's go see what kind of gold we got. Let's go see how much gold we could sell, Kansas. What do you think, buddy? Let's go see what that gold's going to pay. <laughs> another fucking hundred grand. Uh, another hundred grand. Look, 40 pieces and 12 pieces. <laughs> Mama, don't let your baby grow up to be cowboy. Tell him to go gold mine instead. He'll make out better. Oh, uh, let's go see dirt. How much we going to get out of dirt? Let's go. Keep going, dirt. Keep going, dirt. Keep going, baby. It ain't worthless in my fucking eyes. Not when you're getting six, seven thousand of it a shot. Bang. Almost a half a million fucking dollars. You gotta love it. Owed to nobody. Owed to nobody. Fuck you, bank. There it is. Big fat goose egg. <laughs> Mama, don't let your baby grow up to be cowboy. All right, I think it's time to go make me a cup of coffee, so I'm going to the break room. Do, do, do. I guess I go in here and find William fucking sleeping on the couch. Kansas, you're going to go have a cup of coffee with me? Cool, come, let's have coffee. I'm going to make a pot of coffee. Guys going to come have a cup of coffee with me? Do, do, do. That's what they need. I need a coffee. I need a coffee pot in here. See if there's any good, anything good in the snack machine today. No fig newtons. They're all sold out of my fig newtons, man. Fuck. Got to tell the guy to bring a case of fig newtons next time. Where's William at? He must have heard me pull up. He nor William's normally right here on the fucking couch. He must have heard me. Where'd William get to, Kansas? You seen him? He's probably out there in the damn dozer sleeping. <clears throat> All right, well, drink whatever you want then. No alcohol. Not until it's quitting time. I'll make it me call. <coughs> It is coffee making time. Break time. I got to stop getting more coffee tomorrow. This is it. Yep. That's it for the coffee. I got to get me another bag tomorrow. Go get some water. Hold on. Let your babies grow up to be cowboy. Cause they might let you Alright. Pot of 
coffee will be fired up here in a second. I'm gonna go rinse my cup out. Get on a computer, see what the finances are doing. <coughs> the guys coming in for a break or what? I'm waiting on you. Told this boy never to shut my computer off because it's always a pain in the ass to get started. William comes in here and gets on my fucking computer and turns it off all the time. I'm having coffee, considering I worked, I mined this morning, then I went to work, and then I mined, and I worked, I did them both at the same time, and now I came home, and I'm back to work on this again, so yeah, I'm taking a fucking coffee break, I don't care who likes it. My day started at 9.30 this morning, so... And I was on here by 10. So, yeah, I'm taking a break. The boss is tired. I'm taking a break. You all want to work through break time? That's on you. I'm taking a coffee break. As it's made, I'm waiting on it. It'll be done making here in a second. And I think I better plug my controller in before it dies on me. Ah, that's why he's not here. He's out at the drag track. He's out crashing million dollar cars, Kansas says that's where he's at. That's why he ain't here. He's out wrecking other people's cars. <clears throat> that's why he ain't here. It's starting to snow. I need at least to get the roof of this fucking office done. Come in here to sit and I'm freezing my ass off. I gotta see what pieces I made already. No roof slats. Fuck. Better come in here and sit down and relax and I'm freezing my ass off. Snow coming in the building. Look, it's snowing. Because the roof ain't finished. I'm hoping that once I finish the roof, it don't come through. Like some other game that I know. I'm not going to mention who it is. You go inside and you can still get wet.
right, is that all my roof panels? <coughs> all right, good. At least now I can come in here, shut the door, and stay a little warm. Except for this big fucking hole in my ceiling. All right, we'll get it done. It's going to take some time. I got to get the metal to be able to make it. But I don't want to tap my metal resource right now. I'm on the level on it. All right, at least some of the heat will stay in here. Come on, coffee, get done, damn it. Oh, shit. I have a video for that soon. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Let us know and we'll check it out. These are little muffins. <laughs> little bites. Check that out. Oh, it's almost done. Turn the heat on. It's chilly in here. I shouldn't have put the air on, but it was cold. It was hot in here. Yep, two million dollar grind we're on. Can't believe that's what they want for that fucking dump truck. Yep, so once we get the dump truck, then I can go over there with the dozer and finish strip mining. Gotta go find that aluminum, that iron. Okay, with but I can't keep killing the plant with rock. Then we're gonna end up with solid rock, and I am not wasting my time running it back through again. I ain't doing it.
gotta let all the little pebbles form before you go touching it. If not, you'll make the game crash. All right, coffee done. Cup of coffee. Nothing like a cup of coffee. Yep, there you go, shit caving in on me. Them sons of bitches. Told them to come here and put them damn grapes up. I called them two weeks ago. I guess I'm going to have to make them myself. I'm going to have to make them myself. Yep, I'm going to have to reinforce this. Supposedly, you can use the metal grate and put it across the top, and it won't cave in on you. I think we should check it out. Let's go see if we can make some. That's you, nine. I ain't buying it. Screw that. I got the materials. I ain't, I ain't trying to buy nothing. If I can help it. Everything is like fucking expensive as shit in this game. Well, you can't make them in here. That's all, that's just a building. Ah, uh, I bet it's that other fucking machine here. I bet it's the CNC. No, I had it with this. That's it. That's it. I'm done with it. I'm tired of this shit being jammed the fuck up. I got no room. That's it. I'm done. I fucking had it. I built this shit for a fucking reason. Go against the fucking wall already. They gotta work on this shit. I don't want everything in the middle of the room. How the hell do you bring it closer to you? That just turns it. Yep, I had it. I'm tired of not having no fucking room out there. That's it. Done had it. That was the last straw. That's it. Fucking shit coming in here where it's supposed to be. Tired of it. Right. Now what I have is the empty barrels. Okay. That's fine.
the shit in the fucking building where it's supposed to be. I don't know why this view is so... Why does this have to be this fucking way like this? You go into free place mode. If it's floating, it's floating. I'm not going to keep fighting it. <clears throat> I'm not going to do it. They can stay in there for now. Line up all the cauldrons, put all the cauldrons right across the fucking back wall here. Yeah, I'm just tired of being jammed up here. It ain't got, you ain't, I ain't got no fucking room for nothing. I'm tired of it. You know what I mean? built this room for a fucking reason. I might as well use it. I'm trying to see which way this is, so I put it the right way. I didn't realize these things were this fucking big. They is big. Still get to this door. Should be able. I can still get the number. Alright, that's okay. I can live with that. There's no what? What do you mean no straw in the game? What'd they do? Take out the fucking straw? Don't tell me they took out the straw. I left my ass off. That will be that that will be monumentally fucking funny. Don't tell me they took the straw out of that game. You'll put me in tears, I'll be pissing myself laughing. Kansas, you ever see anybody playing that's got their shit set up in a building? I'm betting no.
Yeah, cause I'm tired of not having no fucking room. Now you're something else, William. Now you're just being an asshole. That's good there, fuck it. Okay. There it is, there's the money maker. You could be a millionaire like me. He's such a fucking smart ass with his straw. Fuck you, Kansas. <laughs> Don't encourage him. <laughs> Fucking assholes, both of you. <laughs> Fucking guys. Shit I gotta put up with. What he said almost brings tears to my eyes. Such an asshole. <laughs> ah, you guys are something else. Something else, I tell you. Yep. Same here. I'm an asshole too. Uh, it's okay though. We're all assholes together. I don't think the building's big enough. This fucking equipment's huge. be running out of room. That barely fit there. Yeah, I don't think the room's big enough, boys. And 
Now, I'm not putting oil derrick in here. That would just look fucking stupid. I'll put the oil derrick, like, right here outside the door or something. It's not going in the fucking building. That would look fucking dumb as shit. By all purposes, this could stay the fuck out here, too. Assholes, no. <laughs> yeah, that's about the size of it. And I only need two of these. I don't need three. We're not getting that much gravel no more. Next to the fucking stone, not breaking down the way it's supposed to. That takes care of that. At least we accomplished that tonight. That's a perfect spot for the oil pump. We'll put the oil pump right fucking here. That works. Now I gotta see how I'm gonna fucking put this. Nope, that's hitting the conveyor. I'll have to go right here. That's all right outside the door. It's the only place we can put her for now. That's it. That's where she's going. Fuck it. What can I tell you? That's all. She'll stay out here and pump water. At least once we put the roof on with all this shit in here, it'll be nice and warm. I won't have to pay a heating bill. Okay, so what the fuck makes that metal shit? I got the cutter. I got the press. Got the roller. Now, I don't see the press. That's what it is. Holy mother. That fucking press is huge. Shit, is she big?
I put her there, am I still going to be able to walk around her? Yeah, we can still walk around her. Alright. That's fine. Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> and all that makes is fucking wear plate. That's all that fucking thing makes, so. <clears throat> I don't know what makes this shit here. If there's even a machine to make it. This is what you need to fucking put on the roof of your tunnels that I saw. But I got all the workbenches now. I got every fucking one of them. And all this one does is wood and we ain't got no trees. Ain't no sense in having that one. The rest of them we got. Got the mill. We got the CNC, right? Yeah, the CNC's right here. That just makes all your parts. Just makes all the building parts. But it doesn't make the, any of the mesh. Huh, fucking interesting. Okay. Well. This is the machine shop, boys. Production shop. So everything's in the production shop. Only thing left to do is connect up the fucking ore container. That's it. The only thing left to do is to connect this up. And that's going to be a pain in the ass, and I don't feel like fucking with that right now. But I, I will end up doing it because I'm going to be tired of going outside to the fucking containers and bringing all the material in here. So sooner or later, I'm going to get fed up and fucking do it. All right. At least everything's in here. Good deal. What do you think, guys? Look all right? I think it looks pretty good. I just hope I can I can pipe that container, get everything to go into one. That's gonna be a pain in the fucking ass. I try to do it. Then I don't have to go out there at all. Just to go out there and get the water. That's it. It's okay, it's a steel floor. It's not gonna hurt it, William. That's your job. You have to come in here and clean up the molten steel later. It's all right. At least we got our machine factory now production factory. All the machines fit. I'm surprised they did. That was a pretty good guess of how much room I was going to need. And I can still make it to in and out of every doorway and still make it to every machine. 
so that's good. Yep. Could still fit in between here and go out. CNC. I can still make it out that door. Still make it out that door if I need to. Alright, that works. Yeah, I was going to say, worse comes to worse. Uh, if we needed more room, I could have just, I could just extend the shop out here. That's all. Uh, it's coming along, looking good to me. Oh. All right, let's go put these in. And let's go sell this shit we got to sell. We get back to work. Coffee breaks over, sound the whistle. more panels for that. Shut this door, keep the heat in. Well, it don't matter, we ain't got no fucking roof. I'm working on it. Alright, time to get back to work. Why do you keep saying that, William? <laughs> All that is is polished up gold brush. That's all it is. It's like having a million dollar tractor. I know I'm an asshole. Sorry, I had to say it. Had to be done. So toxic, he's toxic. The guy's a fucking asshole. Turn him off. He's so toxic. So mean to everybody. Yep. That's me. Toxic asshole. Welcome to my dungeon. Welcome to my mine. Safety gear required. I'm going to come out with my own game. Toxic Miner Simulator. I got to simulate what I do and say. How about that? Toxic, toxic Miner Simulator. Think that'll sell? I'm going to be honest with you. 
they could come out with a million DLCs. It's not going to compare to this. Sorry. Hate to be the burden of the truth. They're going to have to really do a lot of fucking spit shining to compete with this. I can tell you that. And I mean a lot. I just, what I want to see is if you're just mining gold again, that's what I'm curious to see. <laughs> that's what I want to see if you're just mining gold. Because if that's all it is, I pass. I'll read about it in the newspapers. I'll pass. Been there, done that. Console and PC. I'll pass. I'll get on YouTube and watch everybody else play it. Just start being more picky from now on of what fucking money I've spent. What games I spend my money on from here on out. It's there, There's no more going to be buy it and try it. I'm done with that. I got a whole fucking library full of buy it, try it, didn't like it, never played it again. Hundreds of dollars. Because I was too fucking lazy to go watch somebody else play it. Not no more. I will get on and do my homework. Not wasting my money no more. Putting it into somebody's pocket just because they produced a piece of shit. Just to make money. Actually, on computer, I don't do that. I go read the reviews. If something new comes out, with the exception of this, because I already had this in beta anyway. I already knew I was going to like this. I just didn't know it was going to be this fucking good. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what they add to this. I'll bet it won't be a million dollar tractor. <laughs> I bet they won't be adding a million dollar tractor to it is. How about it, Kansas? You think North Mining will put a million dollar tractor in this game? <laughs> I was such a fucking asshole. <laughs> a million dollar tractor. That's how you know they're out of fucking ideas. They're done. They're putting in monster trucks and fucking car crushing and tractors. There's already fucking 12 of. That's how you know they're done. They're out of ideas. They're spent. They shot their fucking load over the last 20 years. They're done. They start doing stupid shit like that. That's when you know they're done. The creativity has left the fucking building. Time to move on to the next game. And all 25 is going to be is just a polished turn of fucking 22. With six more million dollar tractors. <laughs> that all do the same thing, do the same shit, and just have this different wheels and different engines. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. 
Where's the water, people? 20 fucking years. Where is the water? You know, the thing that there's three quarter of what the fuck this planet is made out of? Where's the water? I'm going to get a t-shirt made of that and send it to fucking giant software. Where's the water? You know, it, it's only on three quarters of the fucking Earth's total surface. Water. I'm a fucking jerk off. Good evening, CFL. Tell Taylor I said hello. The toxic asshole is home from work. <laughs> and ask her if she's got water. <laughs> ask her if she's got water because giant soft software don't know what the fuck water is. <laughs> <laughs> fucking farming simulating game and the most important element in fucking farming is not in the game <laughs> yeah go outside and take a piss on your corn it'll grow that's all the water you're getting <laughs> fucking badass Twenty fucking years later, still no water. What are you talking about? That's what the fuck you need to grow crops. Go ask any farmer. Can't grow nothing without fucking water. You took the water off this planet, we'd all fucking die. It's a farming simulating game. You're simulating farming. Where the fuck is the water? Anybody thinks I'm wrong, show me how. I got a million farmers out west that I can tell you has every fucking irrigation fucking implement made to man and they use it. Illinois, Indiana, fucking Idaho. I could go on and on and on. Where's the water? You know what takes up more of the earth than land? What to -ter, ter The shit everything you drink today is made out of? Water. Where's the water for the crops, William? You can put water for the fucking sheep and the cows and the rest of the fucking animals. Where's the water for the crops, William? That's what I'm talking about. You know, the main ingredient that makes shit grow, that won't grow without it, where's the water? Somebody please explain to him what I'm talking about. Like, it's a simulating game, which means you're supposed to be simulating real life farming with no water. Please somebody explain to him before I get fucking aggravated. Fucking stupidest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. Fucking farming and you got no fucking irrigation system for the fucking crops. It's like having cows and not have a fucking milking station. Having sheep and don't own a fucking pair of scissors. Come on, man. Simulator. You're simulating real life. Simulator. Go look it up. 
Go look up what simulator means. Alexa, what does simulator mean? A simulator is a person or thing that imitates or models another thing, often a situation or system. Simulators can be used in various fields, such as aviation, medicine, and gaming, to provide realistic experiences and training. The term simulator can also refer to software programs or games that create simulations of real-world environments or scenarios. Uh, what did she just say? What did she just say? Simulator means it replicates real-life situations. That's what the fuck she just said, what simulator means. You named the game Farming Simulator. You're trying to simulate real life farming. It's what the fuck Alexa just said. Where's the water? Never mind. I'm done explaining. If you all don't get it, then go back to school. I'm done. The point of the conversation is you don't build a simulation game without all the key elements. Sorry. That's how that works. Right. You're right, CFL. You know why they're doing that, CFL? Because they're out of ideas, CFL. They don't know what the fuck to do now. They don't know where else to go. That's why they're building dumbass fucking monster truck and maps with monster truck fucking fucking maps on it. Because they're lost. They don't know where to go now. They're done. They got no more ideas. They're burnt. They're spent. They shot their fucking load. They're done. Put a fork in them. It's over. 25 will probably be the last one that they make. And all that's going to be is polished up 17, 19, and 22 shit. That's all it's going to be. Watch. Mark my words. They're done. When they're making shit that have nothing to do with the fucking game, they're done. What's he doing? Going to bed now? He's mad at me, uh, Kansas? Because I'm telling the truth? Now he's mad at me? Going to get pissed off at me? Because I'm telling the truth? You 
just heard Alexa. She just told you what the fuck simulator means. In gaming, it is re she specifically said, when it comes to gaming, simulator means the realistic play and actions replicating real life. It's exactly what Alexa just said. I'm just repeating what the woman told me. Where's the water? Somebody go send Giant Software a fucking email. Ask them, where is the water to irrigate your crops with? Like simulating real life. Go ask the boys in Montana, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, fucking West Virginia. I could go on and on and on what the fuck they put on their crops. Go ask them. Because I guarantee you they ain't going to tell you just fucking fertilizer and lime. And they sure as fuck ain't waiting for it to rain. Fucking idiots. 20 fucking years. Yep, they're done, dude. They're done. FS is fucking done. You're starting to see monster trucks and monster truck tracks and fucking stupid shit like that. They're done. They're out of ideas. They're fucking burnt. They done milked that cow till the tits fell off of it. They're done. They're out of ideas. I can't believe out of all the people that work for that company to make that fucking video game, not one person, one person that works there didn't say to somebody else that works there, where the fuck is the water? I just, it, it, may, it, it fucking blows my mind. It really does. It blows my mind. How a group of individuals can build a fucking simulation game that simulates fucking farming and don't put the key element in it. Which is water, because nothing will grow without it. Nothing. If you took water off this plant tomorrow, if you took water off of this planet tomorrow, including us, everything on the motherfucker would die. Everything. Don't believe me? Go look it up. Why do you think they're so scared of global warming, people? Because if the water goes, we're fucked. The ice all melts and the oceans dry up, we're fucked. We're all but dead. No water, you're dead. Period. End of story. Cash the check, game's over. That's why they're scared of global warming. Icebergs melting into the fucking ocean, oceans evaporating into fucking dust because the temperature's too hot. That's why they're scared of global warming. No water, we're fucked. No water, everything, including us on this planet, rest assured, you can fucking take that to the bank and cash it. We'll die. Done. No, it's why I don't want to fucking play it no more. It's a joke. They're out of ideas, dude. They're spent. I'm telling you now, you mark my words. FS25 is going to be the last one that is ever made. They're done. The thrill is gone.
they have no more ideas. When their main ideas are putting monster trucks and million dollar tractors into a fucking game that you don't need, they're done. That's the sign of we're out of ideas. That's exactly what that means. You'll see. Don't take my word for it. Proof's in the pudding. You'll see. And I'll tell you what the other tell is going to be. When that, when the diehards that stream Farming Simulator every day, when they're gone. When they ain't streaming it, they're playing something else. That's going to be the other tell. When you don't see nobody streaming FS no more, that's going to be the other tell. You'll see. It's coming. Oh, I'm not either. I'm just, you know, I was trying to explain to William. I love the game. I've been a fan for years. Where's the key element that makes the game even realistic? Simulation is supposed to be realistic. Well, how the fuck are you doing that? without the key element that everything that you're trying to make realistic needs to grow. Hell. And what makes it even more asinine is you can water the animals, but you can't water your crops. That makes it even more fucking stupid. Think about what I'm saying, Kansas. Think about what I'm telling you. You can water the fucking animals, but you can't water your own fucking crops. Do you know how fucking stupid that is? 20 fucking years stupid. Think about what I'm telling you, sir. And sit here and try to tell me I'm fucking wrong. I'd love for somebody to sit here and tell me I'm fucking wrong. I'll laugh right in their face. Because I know about a million farmers in this fucking country that would agree with me. If there's any of them left that ain't been starved to death. Financially starved to death. Just tired of hearing about, oh, they got new this, they got new that. I'm not impressed. Put water in the game, I'll be impressed. I'll think about coming back. Instead of dumbass fucking monster trucks. The fuck, it's not a monster truck game. Fucking dummies. Yeah, they're done, dude. They're spent. They're, that, that's fucking shot. They shot their load. They're done. You'll see. FS25 will be the last one. They're done. No, I know. I'm not stressing about it either, dude. I'm just, I'm just fucking, I'm just showing the point, dude. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just stressing a real point. You name something that's supposed to replicate real life, and then you don't put the key element in the fucking game. That's like having a racing game with no tires. Think about that. You go to play NASCAR and you can't change your tires. How fucking far are you going to get once they're bought? Same thing. No different. It's the same fucking thing. No different. NASCAR without any tires. Think about that. It's the same thing. Farming without water. Same thing. <clears throat> All right. I'm done bitching. 
hopefully the right people get to see this video because I want I want to see a fucking email come my way. I would love for somebody to challenge me on that fact. I don't know why William got mad and left. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going after FS22. I'm not. I think it's fucking hilarious. I think it's funny as shit that you can go water all your fucking animals, but you can't water your crops. I think that's fucking hilarious. I mean, if he wants to get mad at me, he can get mad at me all he wants. That's the truth. He ain't getting mad at me. He's getting mad at the fucking truth. That's what he's getting mad at because he knows I'm right. And he don't want to fucking hear it. That's the problem there. Problem there, everybody shoots the messenger. That's because nobody, everybody's just scared to say it but me. I'm not scared to say it. I didn't tell you to name the fucking game Farming Simulator. That was your choice. Yeah, he works for me. Kansas works for me, CFL. What, where I work? Not allowed to. I lose my job. I will do, I will do in, in real life streaming. Once it gets warm out, I'll show you guys all the equipment that I built. Track loader, screen implant, D6 dozer. Uh, dump truck that I converted into a track driven dump truck because I got tired of it getting stuck in my fucking dirt pile with a shit bullshit tires they put on it. Put fucking street tires on a fucking dump truck that's made for the dirt. Fucking morons. Might as well put slicks on it. <laughs> yeah, you and everybody else that's fans of the game, they're not happy about it either. That's because they're out of ideas, buddy. They're they're grasping CFL. You know why there's a monster monster truck in a farming game? Because they're out of ideas. <laughs> They're out of ideas. They don't know where the fuck to go from here. That's why there's a monster truck in a farming game. Because they're fucking clueless. They're out of ideas. They're done. They're shot. They done spent their loot. Made their money. They're done. Pack it up. Turn out the lights. Fucking party's over, man.
That's why you're seeing monster trucks and million dollar tractors you don't need. Because they're fucking out of ideas. You ain't going to tell me no different. You don't see no monster trucks in this. That's the other thing, too. What's dirt bikes got to do with farming? I understand the quads because every farmer's got a quad. That's a new fact. Just about every farmer's got a quad. What's with the fucking dirt bikes, too? I know a couple guys that are farmers. I don't remember ever seeing dirt bikes in their garages. And fucking dune buggies. What's with the dirt bikes and the dune buggies? And all the fucking motorcycles. All the dirt motorcycles and shit. What's with all that? Kansas, it doesn't matter where it came from. It doesn't belong in a farming game. And I'll bet half of the community agrees with me with that. No business being in a fucking farming game. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to tell North Modding Company, I want them to add a tricycle to this game. I want a tricycle to ride around on in this game. One with a little bell and all that. You remember the little tricycles that they used to make when we were kids? Well, at least when I was a kid, had the little bell on it. Cling, 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 cling. I'm going to tell North Modding Company, I want a tricycle. I want to ride around in a dirt pile with a fucking tricycle. That's what I want to do. I want to tell them to make me one. A million dollar tricycle. Oh, I'm not worried about it either, bud. I just think it's funny. It's actually amusing sitting here watching them fucking destroy a really good game. I think it's fucking hilarious. Sorry, that's just me. I get a kick out of it. Watching them take a fucking million dollar cash cow and flush it right down the toilet. I think it's awesome.
Sorry. I know I sound like an asshole right now, but I'm sorry. I didn't make the game. Don't shoot the messenger, people. Nope, they're not going to do that. I don't know what to tell you, CFL. Sorry, bud. CFL, the only thing I could tell you, which it probably isn't going to matter, but the only thing I could tell you to do, CFL, is go play something else or go write giant software fucking email, which probably won't get you anywhere. They're not going to care. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. You see what I'm playing, and it ain't Farm Simulator. Tractor Pool Simulator, I should say. That'll be next. They'll, be, they'll build a tractor pool and sled. <laughs> You're calling call Tractor Pool Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> you can all go run around with your monster trucks. I'll sit here and move dirt all day and be happier than a pig in a pile of shit. And be able to dig anywhere. <laughs> and won't have to buy the land. Or get viruses from a fucking website. <laughs> Good luck, Farming Simulator. I wish you all the best. I really do. What's up, Teddy? How are you? What's up, Teddy? Good evening to you. Well, good morning, I should say, on the East Coast. Uh, yeah, way beyond. FS-22 will never compete. Farming Simulator and Terraforming will never, ever be able to compete with this, Teddy. Sorry. Not even close. Not even close, bud. They're not even in the same league. Teddy, they're not even in the same league with each other. Farming Simulator is still playing college baseball and fucking out of order. It is in the World Series. 40 years I've been gaming, Teddy. I ain't never played a game like this. Not that you can dig anywhere. And Ted. Teddy, here's the best part of this game. I can put six different materials in the dump truck. And guess what comes out, Ted? Six different materials. I don't know no game that does that. I know one thing, this game shouldn't be for sale for 16 bucks, I can tell you that. No, they don't realize how good this is. 
This has got to be one of the best simulation games I've ever fucking played in 40 years. 40 years. I've been playing video games before there was even fucking computers to play video games on. Wasn't no video games when I was a kid. They didn't come out till I was a fucking almost in my 20s. Yep, North Mining Company did it right. Now I want to see everybody try to compete with it. <laughs> so I can laugh at them. Because you ain't competing with this, Ted. Good luck. If somebody handed me a million dollars tomorrow, Teddy, and said, I want you to build something to compete with fucking out of war, I'd tell them, here's your fucking money back. It can't be done. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck to the rest of you out there that's got equipment in your games. Good luck. Farming simulator, gold rush, gold mining simulator. I don't give a fuck what you want to call it. Good luck. Construction simulator. Good luck. Y'all just got fucked in the ass. Good luck. Because you ain't competing with this. And this game's going to do nothing but get better. The mods, the devs have already said there's 500 more things that they're adding to this game. It's already in the works. Multiplayer's the first thing they're adding. The second thing they're going to add, they're adding more realistic uh, terrain movement with the vehicles. They're gonna make it. They're gonna make the vehicles be able to bounce up and down more like fucking SnowRunner does. The real physics. Good luck trying to compete with this, people. Have fun with that. Let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> Cause I'll be right here pushing real dirt. <laughs> Look, a GPS that actually works. Look, you won't see that nowhere else. A GPS that actually gives you real, real in-time numbers. <laughs> Good luck competing with this. I hope you got million dollar fucking bank book to try to compete with this. <laughs> Yes, they do. The devs do listen. I sent I sent an email to the devs to please add trains that we can build train tracks so we can haul our material, Teddy. Just like the real quarries do. The the real quarries don't ship shit out by truck. They ship it out by train. The only trucks you see in the quarry that's coming to get shit is from private people. I know. I was in construction for fucking 20 years. Quarries hire trucks to sell their fucking material and pick it up and deliver their material. Big quarries use trains. <coughs> Anybody that owns a real quarry is using a fucking train. Because they're hauling and selling hundreds of tons a day. Go look it up if nobody believes me. 90% of the trucks you see in a quarry is from an independent operator that was hired to go make deliveries. Or they're there independently buying. They don't work for the fucking quarry. Only if they were hired. The quarry don't have no fucking delivery trucks. Not anyone that I have ever been to. And I was in the business for fucking 20 years. They used to hire us all the time to go deliver to customers for them. I'm dying. I hope they add trains to this. That'd be fucking cool as shit. Then you can ship the material from one your one warehouse to another warehouse. Or one job site to another to the warehouse. 
I can't wait to see where this game goes. I've been waiting 20 years for something like this to come out. I gotta tell them they gotta work on these dozers the blades are just a little bit too big they get stuck when you go to push a cut see how I'm pushing this cut right here I gotta let them know that they gotta make the blade the blades are just a little bit just a little little bit too big a little bit too wide the bigger dozers are even fucking worse they get stuck if you're pushing a cut like see how deep my cut is here if you're pushing a cut this deep, you got to be careful. It doesn't get stuck, especially when the material's reforming. I need to let them know that. Because see where, what one of the little problems with the design is, you see how the arm, you see how the arm, I moved equipment for 17 years of my life. You see where the arm is at a dozer outside of the tracks there? It's it's a little bit it's a little bit too wide and, and it the fucking blade it gets caught. See how much bigger the blade is than the dozer. I mean they did good with it. I'm fucking impressed, but they it's got to be fixed because they get stuck, especially the big ones. That's why I won't play with the big ones. I can go buy the big ones right now. I guarantee it. If I push the cut like this with a big one, I'll get stuck trying to back up through it. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's what dozers do in real life. I have a buddy of mine who drove dozer. He's probably still doing it for 15 years. Actually, over 25 years in the union. That's all he's ran most of his life was a dozer. You go make a cut, you back up through your cut that you just did. You move over another three and a half feet, you make another cut. You back up through the cut you just did. You move over another three and a half, four feet. You make another cut. That's how you run a dozer. Well, if I can't back up through the cut, there's a fucking problem. So I need to let them know about it. And they need to add dozers where this blade can angle forward and backwards. And what I mean like a snowplow does. You know how a snowplow can fucking tilt? Well, these fucking dozers can do the same thing, just like a grater. You know how you can take a road grater and you spin a road grater from left to right so it kicks the dirt out to whatever side you spin it? These fucking dozers can do that too. It's called a seven-point blade. And why they call it a seven-point blade is because there's seven different points of adjustment on it. It can go up and down. The fucking blade can tilt forward or tilt back. The blade can lift over, lift up the right side, sink the left side, lift up the left side, sink the right side, and then it can fucking swing out and swing back in the angle. Most of them you can only angle it one one way, and most of the time when you ang when you can angle a dozer blade, you can only push out the the passenger side, not the driver's side. So, yeah, I need to talk to them about these dozers. All they got to do, North Modding, just get a hold of me. I got no problem talking to you. <clears throat> Outside of that, you hit it out of the fucking ballpark, man. You got my 100% approval. I'm on board. I ain't going nowhere. Make more maps, make more shit to do. I'll stream these mother I'll stream this game till I'm dead. I've been playing it straight ever since. Yeah, you see all the cylinders in the front of this dozer? I used to work on this shit and and move it. So I know all about them. Me and the old man took apart a fucking D6, which this is what this dozer replicates. And Caterpillar D6 is built exactly the same. 
You got all your different adjustments with her. If I go in, see that? When you go to put that blade down like that, you're going to make a deep cut. If you want to push, you take the blade back like that. And then I don't know, this one should be able to do it where you could swing it. I forget which way you got to do the controls. Hold on. You should be able to tilt the blade. Uh, yeah, see? See that tilting the blade left to right? That's so you can angle your cuts. See that? That's so you can make your ground level. And like I said, the only thing that the only thing that this is missing, they got all that shit. The only thing that this is missing is being able to take the passenger side of that blade and push it forward so it's an angle blade so all the dirt runs to one side, not just in front of you. Just like a fucking snowplow does. Outside of that, these boys hit this shit out of the park. I don't care what anybody fucking says. And I'm loving that the GPS is real. That's pretty cool. Because I had them in our dozers. The construction company I worked for, we had them. Every one of ours had fucking GPS on it. That way my boss could, my boss could, he used to put all the programming into the, into the GPS thing. And then my buddy used to go out there and he'd tell him, all right, go to program number 37. The name's there where you're working at. Just go to that. And that'll tell you what your dimensions are. That's what I want to cut. That's how deep I want them. And that's the angle I want them on. And that's it. My buddy Jack, he'd go get his dozer, he'd go fire it up, he'd go fire up the GPS, he'd go out to the fucking spot that the GPS told him. You see the GPS there says X and Y? That's telling you your coordinates of where you are right now in, in replication to the world. That's your X and your Y axis of pinpointing where you are in your location. So all Jack had to do, he'd look at his X and Y, and once he, he would be on the main screen, the aerial view, it'll show him exactly where to go on the property to dig. And you follow that X and Y. And then when you fucking hit your spots, it used to flash. When you were on the exact X and you were on the exact Y to start at, it would flash. Then he knew he set the blade down, do his... You know, doing his adjustments, whatever he had to do, and he could start take, making his cuts. And then my boss had another fucking program in there. Once he got, once he got to the depth of down low of how he, where he wanted him to be, it would flash too. You see how that number, see how it has the number there, a height? That's measuring from the satellite the height of the ground. See how that says 30,988 because I'm on a mountain now watch. That number should go down as I'm fucking dozing. Now look, I'm sitting in the same spot and said 30,988. See that number dropped? That's realistic, people. Now, if I lift the blade here, and I back up where we at. Let's go see where we're at. I'm bottom out, 30,840. Let's back up. Let's take another cut. And let's see if the number drops. Look, now you're down to 30, 30,781. So yes, the GPS is real. If I keep cut, cutting into this pile, that number's going to drop. See the arrow? It says 91 centimeters down. That's what they're telling you how deep that you have your blade set to go down. I bring it up. It tells you that's what your angle is, 181 centimeters. And then the zero, the 0 0.8 is the angle of your blade. 
all right? That's your GPS lesson for the day, boys and girls. You will be tested on it Friday. Number two pencils. Anybody that doesn't show up for the test, you get an automatic F. Thank you. I'm going to push this the other way. Now, see this little dozer, she does okay. Like, what's happening is, is the front blade is getting caught on your cut. But this is the smallest dozer in the game. And she's so light that even though the front blade will get caught on the cut, which is what I was talking about, guys. The reason why she works better than the rest of them do is because when she gets stuck, You'll see her bump out to the left a little bit, which is exactly the direction she needs to go to be able to back up through the cut. Because if not, she'll get stuck. This little dozer, they did really good with. The other ones, they, they need to work on them because they get stuck in the cut. I've already used them. That's why, believe me, I have the money to go buy all of them. I've already played with all of them this is the only one she doesn't get stuck in the ruts she kicks herself out of them she actually straightens herself out so she can get out of them the other ones don't do it they get stuck i could i could dig a 12 foot fucking cut with her right now she's not going to get stuck she'll kick out from it the sn will kick out That's why I'm using the little one. Believe me, I'd like to be using something bigger, moving a whole hell of a lot of material faster. But you know what? For the simple fact that she won't get stuck in her own shit, nope, I'm using her and she ain't going nowhere. I love this little dozer. I have pushed some shit with this dozer. Piles 12 times higher than her I've pushed. And she just keeps on digging. See, now watch, she'll kick. See her kicking? Look, kicking. Watch, she'll kick over, she'll kick over, she'll kick over. Look, see her kicking? She will not get stuck on you. The other ones, guaranteed they will. Because she takes her back track and she'll hit, once she hits the cut, it, it, she's light enough, it kicks her out of the cut.
So if you guys want to play with a good dozer, use the first one that's in the game. I think she was, what, 500 some thousand? She's the cheapest one in the game. And just go put, until they fix the other ones, and go put the wide tracks on her. Either one of these two. They both kick out good. I like this one. This is the one I'm using right now, guys. The DX400. And then all you do is you get the DX400. And then you come down here to where her uh, go to tires. Where the fuck is tires at? Go to wheels. I'm sorry. Go in the wheels. You get these tracks right here. They're aggressive tracks. These are aggressive and these are aggressive too, but I like these. These are actually deeper. These are good tracks too. The S ones. These HD pads are okay too. The other, the next track they're up comes with these on them. The HD pads. And you can actually see the difference. Like I'll show you. We'll get the HD pads. All right. I'll show you the difference in the pads real quick. Shit. Keep hitting the wrong button. I'm trying to zoom in and it's, it's a little funky. See how they're like. Hold on. I'm trying to zoom in. See how the tracks are like a little bit skinny? But they work good for her because they, it's not too, the tracks aren't too heavy on her. So if you want a little, if you want a little beefier pad to put on her, if you get these HDs, I'll show you the difference. So you take these tracks out, put them in storage, right? They didn't change yet. See, they're still thin. Now watch. See how they changed? You see how it you see how it changed now? It's more of an aggressive. We can leave these on. She does good with these too. I like the wide ones for the grip, but we can we can use these if you guys want for a little bit. They're good tracks. They got like an they have it's like an aggressive tooth pattern. That's what the difference are. They're they're more they're more grippy. I mean they're not as wide as the other ones, but it doesn't matter. The grips the grips and the teeth make up for it. Okay. And it doesn't matter. She runs good with either one of them. It don't matter. I like putting the wide ones on her. Because I think it helps give her grip and helps her push. But she'll, she'll push with these too. She's just a strong little dozer, man. She's just fucking no joke. I love her. I've been using the shit out of her. These are like the tracks that's supposed to be on her, but I like putting the wide ones on her. I think it helps her push. But like I said, you can you can use either one of the tracks on her that you want to, guys. It don't matter. She does good with these aggressive ones or with the wide ones. You guys still there? Did everybody fall asleep on me? Get pissed off at me? Leave? You guys still there or... Uh, Am I just here fucking talking to myself? Which I'm okay with too. Push a pile up here and then the loader can come up here and get it. I guess you guys all left me, huh? Okie dokie. Okay.
Thank you, Kansas. I appreciate you, bud. Yeah, I love the fuck out of this little dozer, man. She's fucking badass. She ain't going nowhere. She's in my family now, man. She's a strong little bitch. She just don't stop. That's why I don't beat on her. I don't whoop on her ass. I don't give her more that she can chew. I take it easy on her because I'll tell you what, she is a bad little bitch, man. She just don't fucking quit. I'll tell, I'll tell you what this dozer reminds me of. My boss had a Komatsu DX. Fuck, what was it? I think it's a D, called a DX25. Alexa, what's a Komatsu DX25? The Komatsu DX.25 is a high voltage power supply. It provides a compact no. source of clean, reliable, low cost, high voltage. No. It is designed for applications that require a high voltage source. Maybe it's a D75. I forget what the numbers are on it, but that's what this dozer reminds me of. She wasn't real, real big, but man, was she fucking strong. She can push some shit. I gotta make sure I put them. Let me put them tracks in her inventory so I don't lose them on her. I don't know how the fucking tires come in here. I gotta clear a way down to the rest of the iron and then yeah I gotta open that up more for the loader okay so I gotta open this up so he can come in here and get his iron later on not doing it now though I'm not touching this iron pile till we strip mine that other right that other spot this is all the iron I got left. So fuck that. I'm not killing my reserves. That's all we got. We run out of this, we're screwed. Tell you what, it's so nice not having the fucking bank chase you. up so the loader can get in here. I get tired of hearing that fucking cha-ching noise, dude. It gets old. Fuck that. That's why I said I figured out a way to beat the bank, dude. 
Just keep mining your gold, boys and girls. That's all you got to do. Just mine gold. You'll be okay. <laughs> Pay dirt and axe, Kansas. Tell them. That's how I got my millions. I'll tell you what, she makes a nice cut, man. Couldn't ask for a more smoother dozer. Fucking boys did good, man. Gotta give them their props, they did good. Especially with her. Take your take your time with her, just do a nice gentle cut. Don't have to go real fast. That's it. Don't abuse her and she'll work all day for you. Yeah, the bank's fucking relentless. You're not kidding there, buddy. They're about a fucking joke. Yeah, I'm done with the bank. I'll wait to get my toys. I don't care. Loader should be able to get in here pretty good. I just got to go open up the entrance for Anybody ever tell me that I don't know how to run a dozer? Yeah, tell them they're full of shit. I have one of the best teachers in the fucking world, man. 40 year veteran. That's all Jack ever drove. I used to call him Uncle Jack because he was older than me. 
Uncle Jack could run a fucking dozer, man. That was his favorite piece of equipment. He could run anything. That was his favorite pe- fucking man knew how to run a dozer, man. I ain't never seen nobody like him, I'll tell you that. You put him in a dozer, he was happy as shit. You put him in anything else, he was just a miserable, complaining motherfucker, man. That was the truth. If Jack wasn't in his dozer, he was fucking miserable. I've seen him on job sites where they they had him in a fucking loader just loading trucks and moving piles. He was fucking miserable as shit. (laughs) I'll never forget that. I said to him, I said, Jack, where the fuck's your dozer? I don't know. I've been telling these motherfuckers they need a dozer out here for fucking two weeks. Get me out of this fucking loader. <laughs> it's cracking the fuck up. I'm like, Jack, they don't need no dozer at this fucking site. It's already, it, it didn't require, I don't care. They need a fucking dozer out here. Go go back to the yard because I moved the, I moved the equipment. <laughs> Go back to New York. Go grab me the little one. <laughs> he fucking said. <laughs> I said, yeah, well, I can't just go fucking do that. Go talk to the powers that be. These fucking guys don't listen to me. <laughs> yep, that's all he wanted to do. As long as he was in his dozer, he was happy, man. I was the king. He was the king of his castle. As long as he had his dozer, he was fine. You put him in anything else, he was miserable as shit. They got some pretty level road, Kansas. I think this old asshole knows how to run a dozer. I think I know a little something about a little something, buddy. Looks like a pretty damn smooth level road to me.
what? What are you laughing at? Uh, the shit, the shit with Jack. Yeah, he he was like that man. <laughs> Fucking Uncle Jack was something else. That's the truth, though. I wouldn't lie to you. If he wasn't a dozer, he was fucking miserable. <laughs> He'd be bitching and cursing and just, uh, he just was a fucking pain in the ass. If he was in a dozer, you wouldn't see him, man. You wouldn't hear a fucking peep out of him. I used to have to chase him down just to talk to him. <laughs> He'd be out there fucking pushing for days. He wouldn't care. As long as he was in his dose where he was fucking good, dude. Oh, you said, yeah, it's okay. Fuck you. <laughs> you fucker. Just okay, he says. Thanks, buddy. Look at the GPS, man. That fucking road is smooth, buddy. Look at them numbers, 890, look, 890, 890, 890, look, look at the height numbers, 888, 890, don't fucking tell me that road ain't smooth, 900, look at them numbers, that GPS don't lie, look, 890, look, 870, went down, went down like it's supposed to, look, 880, 870, look, 870. Tell me that fucking road ain't smooth, buddy. Look at the height numbers. 880, 880, 880. A little high here, 900s, but I got to slip this down anyway. Most part, it's pretty flat. I ran uphill a little bit, smart ass. <clears throat> I gotta slope this down now. I want the loader to dig it out though. I wanna go run this material. There's gold in this dirt. I gotta run it. That's why I pushed it down here, because I want her to dig it out. And then what I'll do is once she digs it all out, I'll start back here where the turn is. I don't want her digging out no deeper than here. That's it, right here. Because then once, once I dig that out to here, then I can start my downslope. So, we got to get the loader. We're going to dig this out. And then the road should be pretty good. And this little dozer, man, I'll tell you, best little dozer in the game that I've played with. She won't get stuck. You'll have a hell of a time trying to get that fucking dozer stuck. I put, look how deep of cuts I pushed. Fucking cuts as tall as her, look. There was no rows here. The only thing I did with this road, I dug. Where's the, where's the fucking edge of the mountain? The edge of the mountain's right here. Here's the edge of the mountain where I'm standing, right here. Right here underneath this little bit of dirt is the edge of the mountain. I dug with the loader to right here. The rest of this, I did with the fucking dozer. Because I know the dump truck is not making it up and down that bridge. I know it won't. It won't do it. It's going to, even the big one, it's going to fucking bottom out. I'm going to try it when I get it, but I know it's not going to. It's not going to make it. So I'm like, you know what? I need a fucking road up there so I can get the rest of the iron and coal and fucking pay dirt out of there. All right, let's start getting this dug out. Here's something else. It's okay. It's not bad. Fucking made that road pretty damn flat. Sitting there telling me it's not bad, you bastard. Thanks, buddy. I think it looks pretty damn good. I need to get down here and flatten this shit out.
I flattened this out a little bit with the land grader. I didn't finish doing it though. Uh, yeah. Tired of backing into this. smoke that's gonna be it 
I'll play tomorrow morning off offline. coffee. <laughs> yeah, I know it was William. Yeah, I know. And he shut the fucking computer off like I told him not to. I told him to leave it on and he never does. He always shuts it off. All right, my friend. I did my ranting and raving for the night. Pissed William off for the night. Didn't mean to. I'm going to take my ass to bed, dude. I'm tired. I'll get on here and I'll play tomorrow morning offline. I'll talk to you when I get home tomorrow night. I think I'm going to call it. I I'm just beat. I'm sitting here falling asleep. All right. Have yourself a good night, my brother. Now we'll holler at you later on. Keep on.